this is Dan from Gorse Valley Hops here with Dylan from Oso. Now, the question we've been asking everyone is, what's your biggest brewery blunder? But I'm going to switch it up with you because about six years ago, Dylan's dad, Mark, came to us asking for a bunch of hop cones to put in their Lupulin Maximus. And I saved some of the best little cones. I mean, they were such perfect little things. And I thought, these are perfect. Well, they showed up and said, we want real cones. What? Okay. I don't know what that was. <laughs> There's some, some sort of alarm going off. But anyway, they showed up and they said, no, we want real cones. So we pulled out some ones. They were bigger than your thumb. Arr, that's what we want. So then I pulled out a beer bottle and said, can you fit that in there? Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. So I think you guys walked away with something like five or six thousand individual hop cones. Yeah. And please relate to me the story. I've never heard this before. How does that go, shoving all those hop cones in the bottle? So it's very hands-on as our bottling process usually is. Uh, you know, we've got three, four guys on deck generally. Um, but with the Lupulin, we usually bring some help in um, because it's a lot of cone stuff in and it doesn't even happen fast enough. Uh, so you're saying you bring in seasonal help to shove hop stuff okay. cones in bottles. How do you advertise that? We're looking for hop cone stuffers? Uh, it's more like, hey, you want a beer? You want to earn a beer? And, you know, then they just, uh, this guy's hanging out? Yeah, come by tomorrow. We're stuffing cones, you know? Okay, so you hit up the guys in the tap house. That's right. They just right. happen to be there. It's a happenstance situation. You know? Okay, so so is, I'm, I'm picturing a dingy dark room, low lighting, a bunch of slightly intoxicated guys come back into a back room, there's a whole bunch of open bottles of beer, and you say, well, uh, Stuff away, you know, have at it. Uh, you know, really, it's they're, all the bottles are they're empty when we stuff the cones. Sometimes you end up with a uh, few cones in one. Sometimes some of them get missed. Um, Lupulin Maximus should have a cone in every bottle, but due to the uh, hands-on, you know, aspect of this, some of them do get missed and some of them get over-treated a little bit. Uh, Wait, are you saying at some point your help starts saying, Forget, <laughs> forget this. Give me another beer. So I need to get rid of these cones. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Just you know, three or four. Sometimes it's the machine gun stuff. You know, it is what it is. I was gonna say. I noticed early in the season there was one cone per bottle. As the year went on, it was like this cone had eight. This bottle had eight cones. This one had zero. Yeah. Yeah. And it's you know, it's it's just a neat thing anyway. Uh, it, you know, when you get eight cones in a bottle, it might be doing something pretty significant. Uh, <laughs> the idea is just really, it's kind of a cool gimmicky thing, but it also helps with aromatics and uh, just a neat thing like that. So, All right, last question. How many times do you get the phone call? Somebody going, coo -coo 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 -coo. Dude, there's a mouse in my bottle, eh? So uh, I heard if you bring back a beer bottle with a mouse in it, you get a free one? Uh, we get that type of stuff pretty regularly. Uh, we actually had somebody leave a voicemail. Um, somebody from the Madison area told us that he found a cockroach in his Lupulin Maximus, and he took a picture of the soggy hop cone and sent it to us. And we're like, man, this guy, he must have been pretty not intoxicated when he took this picture, because it's pretty clearly a hop cone. <laughs> All right, thank you. I always wanted to know how that story worked out. Thanks much. Thank